So hello guys, uh, welcome back to the stream. This is your Gamer Khan here. So as I promised earlier, today I will post a video on how to rent nice hash. So as of now, as you have observed, the crypto market has gone down significantly. I don't know whether it's a good time to mine or not, but as per advice of all the expert miners who had been mining for a quite some time, which includes Anafetic and even Seb Heslo and even Crypto Fox, everybody is saying is that this is a short term thing. Uh, hopefully it will remain short term otherwise it is going to have huge become a huge problem so you need few things to start uh, using uh, nice hash so one is you need a nice hash account so people who have used nice hash for mining would have understood that the payout is always in bitcoin so jab, uh, you get payment in bitcoin you can use bitcoins to use render render nice hash so there are two ways of doing it one is to uh, uh, like uh, create an account which is very easy actually two factor authorization can be of two ways one can be a mobile phone thing which is very difficult actually the best way to do is to enable it in google so once you log in you will come to a page like this so uh, as of now i have a total assets of around 0 0.0019608 btc uh, so uh, there have been multiple ways you can send uh, uh, your uh, money to nice hash so one such easiest way is uh, like to uh, convert your coin to something which can be transferable without much of a transfer fee in whichever wallet you are using for example if you are using eth uh, you are mining eth and you have a plenty of eth on your hand you can convert eth to uh, either xlm or xrp and then send it to the pool because xrp transaction cost is very minimal for up to 1000 xrp or even more than that it will charge only 0.25 xrp which is very nominal when you compare the transaction fee for btc or eat so right now i have only this much of btc with me right now uh, actually it is not in the btc at all so i have uh, btc is zero i have some raven in this so currently raven price is very bad uh, uh, as you can see, uh, Raven uh, prices are not going up anyhow. I'm I'm still very hopeful that it will someday go up. So it came as low as 0.159 from 2.7 something, and I hope it will change in the upcoming days. I strongly believe that it will reverse. The trend will reverse and it will push towards the higher side, which is around 3.0, and it can move up. So right now there has been a strong reversal here. So this is not a technical analysis. We'll push off it. So so right now I need some BTC uh, to mine uh, uh, crypto. So there is there are different options out there. So one option is you can send any of these coins which are actually available for deposit in the uh, nice hash wallet. There are different coins out there. I would recommend personally to send either USD Tether or if you can, um, if it doesn't cost you much, you can send it as XRP. The way I did is, I sent Raven and XRP, which were both transaction fee was very low and it didn't matter. So once you have enough money, what you have to basically go is to go to Hashpower Marketplace and be careful, select the corresponding algorithm which you want to do. So you can see my orders in the previous uh, history, I have ordered quite a number of times and I have successfully mined also. You can see, uh, when you press the order details, you can see how long I have mined and uh, 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 like uh, how long it has happened and it, it, it was good actually. So this is very old actually, sometimes it will not come. So this was the last one which I mined to get uh, uh, solo. And uh, nothing happened actually, but uh, I got my luck from 30 to 100 percent. That's all. And even then, also, I didn't get a block. So, that's another story, guys. So, right now, which all coins you can mine? Actually, NiceHash supports a lot of algorithms. Okay, so what I found out that Raven, no, absolute no, don't mind Raven now. It is not at all profitable. Especially if you are planning to mine uh, at, into the pool, don't mine it. It's a waste of your effort. So that's what my take on it. And uh, if you are mining any other coin, uh, you can actually try mining uh, Ethereum directly. So that is actually much better. Because Ethereum uh, price BTC per day is very low. Okay. So that's the thing. 
So once you select the relevant, uh, the, uh, what you call uh, algorithm, you have to select a pool. So go to my pools. So right now I have only octopus and two minus uh, raven uh, in this pool. So it is very easy to add a pool. Select add a new pool, put a custom name. So I'm going to put solo, not solo, eat pool. Okay, then you can, uh, basically what you can do is you go to your uh, T-Rex or whichever minor you use. You go to your Ethereum uh, like pay or whatever. You edit it, you open it up and uh, you select the TCP IP address. So if you are using nice hash, you can't use the 2020 address. It won't work. There are, if for a nice hash in two minus or any other pool, they, they, they have a different uh, set of rules. Uh, so different set of pool as well. So you go to 2minus.com, select solo, select Ethereum solo, you select quick start, you come down, you can see nice hash support. Okay, you come down, you can see nice hash, mining with rental, yeah, here. So this is what they suggest you to edit and put. So this is solo each 2minus.com address and the port is 6161. So remember that you have to add it that way around. So if you don't want to go to solo, you want to mine uh, in the pool, which is advisable for Ethereum, because if you mine even one Ethereum, the price can change and it will you will benefit it from it eventually. So you come down, so you can see, uh, to, uh, so nice hash for nice hash also it is the same I think. So each dot, so this is the IP number, eat.2minus.com, you select that. Go back, uh, put it here, each 2 minus 2, port is 2020, username is your wallet address. So I am using the ETH to nano conversion uh, technique. So my wallet address will be the same and uh, algorithm you have to select. So that is the most important part, you have to select the algorithm. Don't mistype the algorithm, select uh, it properly. So username is the username set in for your wallet address. I am using the ETH to nano wallet payout system. If you have not tried it, please try it. It is very good. So you, you may copy the entire address or you can just copy the wallet alone. I prefer you to copy the wallet alone. Copy it, paste it. Okay. And uh, put password as X, press test pool, test with all pools. So you see the time here, 0.12 seconds for north. This is the fastest whenever I checked for me in India. Uh, all other pools are slower. Uh, if I select uh, USA, it takes a long time. It's very long. Uh, if I take USA East also, it takes a long time. So among the four, I think Europe is good. EU West is the best. Okay. 0 0.034. So just press add pool. So everything is verified. Now you have a heat pool uh, in two minus. Okay. You can uh, uh, rename it as two minus heat pool. Two minus heat pool. Simple. If you name something else also, nothing matters. Only thing you have to be sure is the stratum address, the port address and the wallet should be correct. If you don't put the wallet address correctly, uh, once the mining, once you have placed the order, it's very, very difficult. It, it, you can't uh, cancel the order or change the wallet address after that. So now, once you've done that, go to marketplace. Make sure that it usually resets again. You have selected Dagger Hashimoto and then you can start buying the hash power. So you go through each market. I will only buy from EU West and EU North because those are the ones which are okay for me in my location. So right now the prices have come down significantly. Don't start too low. Don't start too top uh, if you are mining pool. 
uh, as a reason I'll tell you if you start too low you will not get enough uh, hash power constantly so that will cause you to drop your speed every now and then if you start too high then you, you can't low it also very every now and then so the best way to start pool mining is to start from the middle uh, I would say you take a median value so these guys here so this is a median value there are significant amount of people here mining but I think these these people have put a significant amount of money to mine maybe they are mining solo so and uh, in this pools they will not show solo or pool mining in the nice hash page uh, it's up to you guys to decide so I will choose the median that is one so once you click there you will come to a value here so as of now if I 0.001 tera hash is 1 giga hash basically and the amount of BTC is 0.01 I will get a mining period of approximately one day so this is a minimum you will get the time changes there will be if you increase the uh, limit speed limit uh, then the time reduces drastically for example if I change it to 0 0.01 it becomes 40 minutes 0.01 is 100 giga hash one is one tera hash you will get only one minute it is total waste of your hash power you set it at least to uh, maybe 0 0.05 tera giga hash so that four hour 48 minutes is a good time so now you go to ether eth to mine use the crypto calc algorithm and see how much eth you can make for 5000 mega hash per second okay for an hour you will be making around 7.23 dollars as of now the current market value is so down so right, even then also you are making 7.23 dollar per hour for for the if this goes through very well which never happens believe me guys in my experience never had happened so if you take the calculator now calculator now you calculate it so it is 7.4 dollars per hour you have 4 hours, we will take 4 hours 30 minutes, so we will take it as 4.5 hours, you should be getting $33 worth return. So the money you spend as of now, if you go to coin to get go, uh, you say uh, you uh, like uh, BTC, this is how I check the profitability, uh, always check it before you start mining in uh, nice hash, whether it is worth or not. So 0 0.001 BTC in US dollars as of now is $34.50. So in the future if Ethereum becomes a higher priced commodity then you are at good, you are, you are having a good time because uh, by the end of 4 hours you will be sitting at almost uh, uh, around uh, 0 0.002. To three each so that is good so it's make a decision accordingly you check it with the respective pool calculator and all and then decide and the same mega hash if you put it in a solo it will take that approximately 30 days for surely to get a block if you want to get a block you should try at least 10,000 mega hashes that is 10 giga hashes sorry one that is one tera hash then you will get a block one day so that's what two minus says but it is not true for all entities uh, pool mining is better for ethereum as far as i am concerned uh, because uh, the ethereum difficulties unlike other uh, mining uh, setups ethereum difficulty is too high so if you go for solo there is a high chance you just lose the 40 or 50 dollars if you have spent uh, unless you you are able to spend a little bit more BTC for a, for example you can spend around hundred or uh, maybe two hundred or two fifty dollar worth BTC and buy around point zero zero four for example if you have uh, around point zero zero five BTC which is roughly two hundred dollars one fifty dollars as of current market value you will get uh, fifty giga hash worth for one day. So this is a good value because most of the solos are won in this period of time or you can just uh, make sure that you win a block by increasing the limit terahash but there is no guarantee that you will win a block if you are going solo 
So once you have selected the respective speed, balance, everything, then you have to enter the two-factor other authentication, press agree, place the order, that's it. This is, it is as simple as that. Hope you guys can do that. If any doubts are there, you can ask me in the comments. So thank you guys. This is your Gamer Khan here again. Stay tuned for more. I'll be coming up soon with a video where I am planning to do a nice hash mining on Ethereum chain, which I have not done so far. I'll do it soon. Thank you guys. See ya.